Right now, the search is on for the person who shot a three year old on a freeway in Detroit. This happened last night as the boy rode in the back seat of his mother's car. Seven Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live in the studio with us. Now, Matthew, obviously so shocking for this mother and child. What did she do after the boy was shot? Well, right after the boy was shot, uh, the woman pulled off and she ended up over at the corner of Plymouth and Southfield, just off the Southfield Expressway. Uh, he had to be rushed to the hospital. He wasn't breathing at one point in time. But what we do know is that police say that he was in such bad shape. He's in critical condition. They actually said that the public should be saying their prayers last night. Southfield, Georgia, we had a drive-by three-year-old male shot. That's the call that went out to police. The type of call that makes everything slow down. A three year old shot in the back seat of a car. This single bullet hole, the entry point of a shot that ripped through a car seat and into that young, innocent boy. By the time ambulances arrived, he wasn't breathing. Uh, he was unresponsive at the hospital, had to be revived, but they did revive him, so that's a good sign for us. Um, we're going to let mom deal with that for a little bit before we really get into inter interviews and things like that with her. Please tell us they've been working to narrow down who could have pulled the trigger, but with a single shot, they don't think this looks like a road rage incident. A car, a suspect, nothing is known right now. Investigators hoping the mother will figure out who may have done this, who might have been angry with her, but right now they're pouring over video of the Southfield Freeway in hopes of locating something caught on camera between where she got on and where her little boy was ultimately shot. Unfortunately, there are no green light cameras in that area, so they don't have great video evidence at this point in time to find something. They're hoping that that mother will be able to tell them something about maybe somebody that she knows may have been after her or her boy, although it seems hard to believe. Of course, we are going to continue to track this story. We do want to let you know the freeway is back open this hour. They'd obviously shut it down to look for evidence. We're still waiting for word back from police. Just responded and put out a text message to a couple people to try to figure out if they found anything out there. As soon as we know that, we'll update mm. you here. Poor boy.